The final chorister to sing is Josie, who is a chorister at Litchfield Cathedral. I have been in Litchfield Cathedral Choir for the past five years. I do a lot of singing, obviously, but it's not just choral, it's musical theatre as well. Singing makes me feel really happy because I was a really, really shy person and music taught me that it's, it's okay to be more confident and it helps make more friends. Everyone say hi. Hello, hi. <laughs> After school, I want to perform and I want to be on stage and I want to make people smile and I want to entertain people. <laughs> I love that performance. <laughs> you know, it's a very dramatic and a very technically challenging piece. You know, it's very, very difficult. Wow, Go goosebumps. <laughs> Laura, goosebumps for you. It's a modern piece by Bob Chilcott. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, Josie, you did so well. For me, there was a real mystery in the way that you sang this, and that was obviously complemented with the accompaniment there. So I, I loved that you had this relationship between the two of you and created this wonderful piece of music to listen to. And I can tell that you just really enjoy singing, and that, as an audience member, to listen to is wonderful. Carl, enjoyment and mystery. Is that what came across for you? It did, indeed. I wrote down here, atmosphere. You created that from your very first phrase. Beautifully done there. 
John, did it suit Josie's voice? Yes. Bob Chilcott was, of course, a lovely boy soprano when he was young, and so he knows how to write for that kind of voice. And, gosh, I think you enjoyed the melancholy atmosphere. A lovely performance. Bravo. Thank you, judges. Catherine, happy? Very happy. You did so well. So thank you. Well done. <laughs> thank you, Catherine. And thank you, Josie. Thank you. Twenty twenty 2020 has been such a bad year and this song is all about hope and a flower coming out of the snow so I thought I'd give the judges a little bit of hope this Christmas. <laughs>